Hi, I'm CC, and uh, it's been a while since I last recorded. Uh, a new Pokemon game came out, so yeah, that took priority for me. But I'm back here on the server in Stockholm, and I, I've done a, quite a bit of work between now and last episode. Definitely not like three weeks worth of work, but uh, work. I've made big trees. Uh, I don't hate them, but I don't love them. But it's just to add a bit more personality. And I think it's one of those things where once I get more trees, it will look better. Because you'll be paying attention less to the individual trees and more to just the general vibe. We've also got some more smally trees. And I'm not sure if I want to keep the birch leaves at the top. Like You can see how those trees are slightly lighter compared to those ones. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. We'll see. Uh, aside from that, I can't remember what I did. I know I've been working on a river. Uh, it's been, I can't remember what my last episode was about. So if there's anything you don't recognise, then that's probably new. So yeah, we've got this river now. And it's got cliffs either side. Uh, I need to actually build a bridge over, because right now I'm having to just park up. Uh, I got a bit more waterfall done. And then over here, I don't believe I finished this area. Uh, and I quite like it. It's the only bit of green in this entire area. But uh, I love it. I love these little creeks. And it actually is... I wouldn't say functional, but it is, like, logical. So this water comes out from here, goes down here, across this, and then it goes through the uh, thing into another pond down there. Uh, and how much honeycomb do I have? Oh, I've got a full chest. Okay, just a full chest. Let's be in the hoppers behind. Uh, I got little uh, trellises. Is that what these called? I don't know what it's called, but glowberries, little seating area. You know, classic stuff. I uh, got my bees. They're doing fine. And yeah, okay. But anyway, I think I don't really want to work here today. I've spent a lot of time over in Stockholm, and I have. I actually want to do something at spawn, which is. Uh, anything. I've, I've not done anything at spawn yet. Most I've done at spawn is make a sheep hole and that is uh, not great contributions. So I'm gonna go head over there now and I will get into what my project is for today. And it's raining over here, great. But I'm over here at spawn and this area has not changed since the last time I was here. Uh, everyone else has been playing Pokemon as well, so it's not like I've just fell behind, it's just everyone's not been on the server. The server went on to backburner for a bit, but I want to build myself a shop, and I have decided the shop is going to be a redstone shop. Uh, or at least, like, initially it's going to be a redstone shop. I'm kind of... I, the idea I've got is to make a bit of an area, less than a shop, and I might have, like, one building be a redstone shop, another one be something, I don't know. But for now, I just kind of want to just start placing blocks. So I've been collecting wood. Uh, main block is going to be the dark oak, spruce, and oak. My my standard build palette. Uh, and then also got blackstone and copper for the roofs, which are blocks I don't really use very often. So I want to give them a go. Uh, got some honeycomb. Probably need more honeycomb, though, for the amount of copper I'm making. And yeah, okay, so my plans are to make a sort of a, a cliffside, lots of houses just hanging on the side of the cliff, got some support beams coming up and down, and yeah, and I'm currently uh, oxidizing some copper, and I no idea how long this is going to take, but uh, I'll just leave that there for while I'm working. Uh, probably going to need a lot more oak, as you can see I've got little saplings just around as well, but yeah, I think I'm going to start this episode off with a time lapse, get myself a base to then do some more work off of, so I'll be right back once I've done that. Uh, 
I got a bit carried away again, but I have built up the main frame of the area. Uh, I really like how it's coming along. Let's get some better angle on it, I guess. Uh, yeah, we go. Okay. So I've got the main shop, which is going to be that bit there. A little extra platform up there, which I don't have a function for yet. And then I've also got this, which is the way you get up and down, which is just a minecart, uh, which sits at the bottom. Go into it and goes up. I don't know how I want the minecart to come down. Because right now I've got it set that it automatically goes down. And I think about having a different way of getting down, but I might change it to just be a button. I, I don't know. Because if it's a, if it's like this, then it means that someone has to press the button to go down. And if someone leaves the minecart up here, then no one will have a way back up. So I, I don't know how I'm do, going to do it yet, but I'll leave that for now. But what I want to do now is the roof. And uh, it's been a while, so I've had plenty of copper oxidized. Got all this left here, but I've also done uh, four stacks of it in here. Let's head up to the top and then I can show you what I'm going to do. I need this as well. Okay. okay, so what my idea is, is to get... I'm going to put down all the copper first. Okay, I've got the roof placed in. So what the style is going to be is... Uh, yeah, so I'll axe... Where should I start? Okay, start here. And I want to get that one to be completely... Uh, clean, same for that one and that one, and then this one I want to put down to that level, and then this one, that one down to that level, and then yeah, do that one as well, then do 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 do, and then leave those ones. And basically make like a, I don't know what you'd call this pattern, but I think it looks cool. It's something I saw on the Minecraft Builds subreddit. I'll see if I can find the original post, but I'm not certain where I saw it. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's going to have this sort of look, and then I'm going to make it sort of radiate out. So have these two be that. Then... That, that. So then I've got that kind of look. And should I make that one also? That one also. Then up here, I think I'm going to have it go down to that level. So glad you can strip uh, oxidation. <laughs> I don't want too much of the clean copper. One would be that, and that, and then I think I might make that also. Uh, it's, yeah, it's it's just kind of figuring out what looks the best. Uh, um, yeah, and it's going to do this for the rest of the roof, but this is what it kind of looks like. I think it looks really cool. And just going to do that for the entire roof. Okay, that's the first roof done. I think it looks good from down here. I'm not sure what it looks like from above, so let's see. I don't know if that orange is too bright, if I should just have it be the slightly oxidized colors. I don't know, but I think it looks quite good so far. I just need to do... Oh, I don't like that bit there. That looks a bit too square. Uh, yeah, I'll change that bit and then... Do that roof, and then I'm going to add something on top of here as well, probably. I don't know, actually. I'll do some testing. But it's very weird. Uh, yeah, I can see what... Yeah, I don't like that bit of orange. I'll mess around with that. But then, yeah, so do this bit of roof, and then do the interior, I guess. Actually make this into a functional shop. I don't actually know if I've said what the shop and building actually is. Uh, it's a redstone shop, just in case I haven't, and it is coming along quite nicely. Uh, I'm kind of going for like a tinkerer's sort of workshop. I've got like a minecart that's moving around the side just to add a bit more interest, and then it's just going to be kind of chaos in here. 
but I'm going to try and label the chests with the items. But any that I can't label, I'm going to have to use item frames. But unfortunately, I am all out of leather. And uh, my cow farm is kind of lacking. But, okay, I got some leather. And I need to make some item frames. Do I have any sticks left? So yeah, I'm going to label these chests. And then I'm going to have to do some grinding for stuff to sell. Because... A lot of this stuff can get quite expensive. Redstone dust, easily enough. Uh, redstone torch is fine. It's the comparators. I use like quartz and then I've got dispensers, which will be bows, which I don't actually have a string farm yet. Uh, I have to get look into that. Uh, pistons will be iron. So it's going to be an expensive shop to run, and I'll have to figure out prices later. I think what I want to do now is go to the end and do some elytra hunting and shulker box hunting because shulker boxes would be great and yeah so yeah that's what i'm gonna do now and i'm gonna have to get myself a bow and arrow actually because i don't have one and they're kind of necessary when fighting shulkers i believe yeah i'll do that and then i'll go ahead to the end okay i'm all prepared to go to the end now i've got Plenty of stuff so I can stay in there for a while. Got myself a really good bow. I actually need to get an arrow. Uh, got myself a really good bow. Got myself a bunch of rockets. Got some chests and crafting table. So I can actually craft up some shulker boxes while I'm in there. And I can... Uh, I'm going to go to spawn and get myself a mending book from the shop. So I can put mending onto the elytra once I get them. There we go. Okay, to the end. Um, I believe we've only got one of these gateways open, but I don't think anyone's actually explored the end yet, so I'm going to be the first to get myself first dibs on stuff. Uh, just... Oh, it's up so you can just swim straight in. That's nice. Wow, that's a lot of endermen. Uh, okay, so I believe there's actually... I can't remember this up. So I believe there's actually an end city just there, but I don't, I, I, I'm not allowed actually to, yeah, there, so you can see there's an end city just over there, but I'm not actually allowed to uh, use that one, because I think Kevin's state claims on it, so I'm going to go uh, look for another one. I don't actually know what he wants to do with it, but he says don't, uh, don't uh, raid it. I'm guessing he wants to do the shulkers or something. Okay, so to my knowledge, uh, end cities spawn in like a grid pattern. Well, not necessarily, but like they spawn somewhat patterned, and it's they spawn in lines almost. And I believe it's along the z-axis, so if I just keep running south or north, I should have a decent chance of finding the other one. And it looks like there's more land this way, so I guess I will just head, keep running this direction and hope to find one. Oh! Oh no, that could have been very bad. I hit the side of the block. Oh lord. Oh, my heart just fell out of my chest there. If they do spawn on in lines, then not really anywhere to spawn. Am I going towards... The end island here? No, the end island will be that way. Yeah. Oh, God. We'll land over there, but I think... I'll... Oh, end city. Right. So, the kind of spawn lines, because that one will be down there. Mm, not sure if that rule actually exists. I don't understand coding. Or how anything works, really. Forget how tense building over... I have everything of value on me. <laughs> do I do it? Do I go for it? Oh, it's too late to back out. Okay, nice. And there's an end ship. That's a very low end ship. <laughs> that is. Any any particularly tall core is going to get in the way of that ship if it keeps going straight. Uh, faster to go around this way. God, I hate the end. It's a lot less scary once you actually get the wings <laughs> when you're just building. It's less fear about 
letting go of sh shift and more fear about accidentally pressing space. Oh, God. I can probably just end the straight up to that ship. I don't even need to walk. Of some wings, nice. And I can put mending onto them straight away. There you go. I see it again. I'm breaking book now. <laughs> so many chest plates. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a. Hello. I'm gonna have to try and find a ender chest inside here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, using water as. Really makes things a lot easier. Then just need to go over to. Yeah, all my rockets are inside the NHS, so I have to get an NHS first before I can actually fly properly. Oh, there's a little sort of NHS there. Bought two stacks of potatoes, but with how much I'm going. Quickly, I'm going through all of these. Uh... Efficiency 5 on breaking! Damn! That is a. Good pickaxe just to get out of. Oh, well, down I go. Chocolate boxes. So I can now store. Oh, God. <laughs> store armor and anything I collect in here. I'm not going to be super uh, precious about killing every shulker like I normally am. I just kind of want to. Kill as many as I can and get out. I'm not gonna be bothered. Like, oh, if one teleports like the outside of a roof, I'm gonna, not gonna be like, oh, I've gotta get it before I can leave. I know that shulker box farms are buildable in survival, but like, I just don't really feel the need to. I quite like uh, end raiding, and I'd rather get lots of elytra while I'm here rather than just the shulker boxes. Unless you're working on like a big server, I don't think there's any money in it either. God damn. Maybe I retract my statement about liking this. <laughs> Let me out. Okay, ow. Oh. I wish they couldn't teleport to the outside of the building. No, 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 no. Ow! Oh. Jesus Christ, that damage. Okay, let's just keep heading this way. Oop, that's the end city over there. Well, not really a city. Uh, what even would you call this? Uh, sad? <laughs> Another one of these uh, pillars. Great. Okay. Time to find hopefully a better uh, end city. Oh, there we go. I uh, got a bigger one, and also got a ship. Nice. Oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to get the dragon head from the the first ship. Oh, poor. Not annoying. Well, these are definitely the most annoying mobs in the game. Oh, just spawned another one. Time to he keep heading south. And I think I'm at the point now where I will leave if I find a gateway, but I'll keep going until I find one. Well, find a gateway, so time to leave. <laughs> oh, almost got it. <laughs> oh. Again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, did it? Yeah, got it. Yeah. Uh, okay. How much did I get then? I got 36 shells and then two shulker boxes, so. Uh, 18. No, 18? Yeah, 18. 20. I got 20 shulker boxes and then two elytra. And then. Uh, <laughs> a lot of chest plates. Uh, I got basically a full set of armor except for my helmet. Got a bunch of swords, a bunch of pickaxes. I guess you don't really need uh, axes and shovels when you live in the end. And I also forgot to get. Chorus, so oh well. If I need chorus at some point, I'll come back. I did a little bit of mining off screen and I got myself a bunch of redstone and I've made up some uh, 
redstone components. Not really enough, but it's enough to get the shop up and running. But before I do that, I want to quickly get on top of this tree. Ow. Uh, yeah, so I've added on another bit here. It's a bit boxy, but uh, it should be fine. And then I want to add in something here, which is going to be the personality maker, because I have come up with a name for this place, and I came up with a name after building it, and I kind of wish I had thought of it beforehand, because I like the pun. I'm going to be calling it Circuit Tree. Like, Circuit Tree. And I feel like if I had thought of that initially, I would have built a tree. So, rather than tearing it down and trying again, I'm going to just put a tree on top. But instead of it being like a regular tree, it's going to be like a cherry blossom tree, but redstone cherry blossom tree. Which are words I've never really thought I'd put together. I've done a quick testy to see if it's going to like look right, but uh, I did it without having a cliff here. So I might have to clear the cliff out just a little bit to give more space for the leaves. But I'm going to put it on this roof here and see how it looks. Okay, I have now finished up uh, the tree. Uh, that took barely any time, but I think it looks really cool. It's a bit bright, a bit contrasty, but I think that works in its favour. I wasn't sure if the red is going to work well with the blue and orange, but it really makes it stand out. And I think when I have more specific features, it's going to look great. And I'm, yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, of this. I think editing it looks really good, especially with the like rubbing up against the hill. It kind of feels like a I don't know what it feels like, but it looks cool. <laughs> and I, as I get more shops in this little uh, mini shopping area for myself, I'm gonna have to add like custom bits to it. So circuitry is now complete. I'll restock it between episodes because I don't have enough, and I need to figure out pricing all that. And I just don't feel like doing that right now. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Unless a new Pokemon game comes out and then I'll see you in like two months. Bye. Actually Elden Ring is coming out so we'll see.